Hey guys, so I'm back with another sketchbook video and I've got two here today and I guess we'll start with this one because I started and finished this one first. And this is a Handbook & Co. travelogue sketchbook. Um, and these stickers right here were created by Vertigo and these two were by Bird Onion and I'm not sure who the artist was for this one, I just got this off of Redbubble. Um, so I started this on May 11th and finished July 7th and I had some uh, new sketchbook syndrome so I just decided to draw a toad because I was um, playing Super Mario Odyssey just to break in the sketchbook and these were figures from photos by Crokey Cafe which is a really great um, resource. They have like a YouTube channel where they have models pose in real time. So really great resource. Um, and I was trying a new technique where I, for me, um, where I just went in straight with a brush pen and went over it with like one or two layers of watercolor. Same thing where I just went in straight with the uh, brush pen and watercolor. This is my stepdad and my grandma. It's a fail page. <laughs> this was done with gouache. This was done with Uniposca markers. This is from a figure drawing session that I attend once a month. Um, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I did the same thing though, where I just went in straight with a brush pen and did watercolor over it. This is my character, Emeret. I was just messing around here doing like dessert stuff with watercolor. These I did outside. I really hate this tree, <laughs> but I like how this turned out. More pictures of Amorette. She, she's like an ex-Broadway actress, so I wanted to like draw her in some costumes. This is my character, Irian. <laughs> um, here, I just painted my own watercolor set. My grandma again. These were just from pictures I found on Pinterest. This was whenever E3 was going on, so I was just, I don't know, just playing around trying to create some sort of creature. Kind of the same thing here. This was during maybe a more boring conference, so I just was doodling. Yako and Amorette playing around with the Uniposca markers, so like I just made some kind of a silhouette and then drew over it with a pen. I really like this page right here. These were some portraits from Pinterest, pictures on Pinterest. My brother, my character Emirate. I really like how this one turned out. Just ink stuff from model poses. Gouache painting of a papaya and an apple. And then some inklings. I have this like weird obsession with like trying to find my own proportions for them. I, I don't know. <laughs> like my own style for of inklings. I really like these dogs. And then this was from another figure drawing session more inklings and an octoling. Someone said that this looked kind of like Gerard Way and I, I can't unsee it. A flossing lion. Yako and Emirate, little doodle there. Then these were also from pictures on Pinterest where I just did them straight with the brush pen. those. This 
this one has some watercolor on it. Another inkling and an octoling, and then this finish is off kind of weak. It's just like little doodles. Like I have like end of the sketchbook syndrome as bad as I have new sketchbook syndrome. All right, now on to the next one here. This is a Canson mixed media. This is the seven by ten, which is a very odd size. I've never used this size before. Um, Alright, so I started this on July 7th and finished September 1st. These were just some thumbnails for drawings. These were swatches. I started experimenting with the Zorn palette, um, or at least a version of it. I'm using Alizarin Crimson. Payne's Gray, Yellow Ochre, as well as White, so I was just playing around and seeing all the different colors I could get with that range. This is These two are gouache paintings from outside, but I don't, these aren't with the Zorn palette. <laughs> um, actually I tried outdoor painting with the Zorn palette, and unfortunately it's very dull because, like, this is about as green as you can go, so it's not very private, bri vibrant <laughs> for outdoor painting. I'll kind of admit that I had really bad, like, tear out the page. Like, I, I just kept tearing out pages out of the sketchbook, and I don't even know why, like, Normally I'm not like that, but for whatever reason I really was this time. But anyway, these were thumbnails for my almost home piece. These were some outdoor watercolor and brush pen paintings. This is my sister, this is my brother. Just playing around here. Another inkling. My OC Jack, who hasn't been drawn in a long time. <laughs> Some younger Yako here. I did, um, I think I did a thing where I did like lighter cola race and then I went over it with um, a Prismacolor pencil to get like a more clean finish. This is from a figure drawing session. Some more inklings. Moret, and these were some more gouache studies. I just sort of grabbed things around my house and tried to paint them. So, a uh, nail polish, and then this little tin, well it's not tin, I think it's stainless steel, <laughs> stainless steel uh, cup, and this jar of honey. And then these, um, I did like a coal race pencil, then I did like some rough pen and some marker over that. And then this is the same only this doesn't have the pencil, it's just pen and a little marker. Same thing here, and these were also from Crokey Cafe. This was um, a gouache study, and I tried the Zorn palette with this one, I think. And I did, like, I tr was trying out this technique that I saw someone else do, where they just, they draw the figure and then they paint over the entire thing with the color that you see right here. And then they, um, so you're not working directly on the white, and then they, um, build it up from there. I rather quite liked these, like, on one hand I can see a lot that's wrong with them, but at the same time I kind of enjoyed making them. Um, I don't know, it was one of those things where, like, you're drawing at midnight, and, like, everything feels all serene, I guess. And these were some portraits, like, I should do more of these grayscale portraits because it makes my life a little bit easier because, or, it's good practice because I always have this tendency to really worry about, like, all the tones that I'm seeing and then I forget about the values whenever I'm working in gouache, especially with the portraits. So this turned out rather well. So this is just black and white um, gouache and then this is color but it got pretty muddy. And here I was like redrawing sketches. 
and here's where I did that same thing where I just covered it over in that thing and then build up in there, which these turned out a lot better than the last one. Here I was trying to pick up things from around my house and just draw that, but. Normally that kind of stuff goes in like a study sketchbook. This was another one using the Zorn palette. This turned out a little bit better. Here I was trying something a little bit different. These were some eyes I did in gouache. I was just messing around here and then th like this top one is what I was talking about with the Zorn palette being very um, dull for outdoor painting. Like if there had been like a, something very red in this image, it, the green would have probably seemed more green but it just seems really, just seemed really dull. Um, doesn't look horrible, just it looks like a, a, like an old classic painting with this kind of color palette. And then this, this one ended up really muddy. It almost looks better on camera but um, I don't know, I always have trouble with these kind of things where there's a bunch of overlapping trees. And then here I just did a bunch of dogs. <laughs> this was for my draw a season piece. And then this was um, the beginning of a figure drawing from one of my figure drawing sessions and then I didn't like it so I tried it again on the next page. These were just for character concepts. This was all stuff I found on Pinterest and just wanted to doodle with a brush pen. Superboy. Some more figure gouache stuff. Just doing some ideas here. And then here, um, I was like, things were really stressful, so I just did a bunch of these brush pen doodles. <laughs> like this one of Blue Diamond. Then here, I was kind of trying to prepare for my, um, draw season piece. Um, violet from Rack Queens. Well, this is Betty, but the rest of it's all violet. And then I just finished Troll Hunter, so I kind of drew Jim a little bit, although I, I guess I kind of got lazy and just sort of abandoned it. And that's it. Again, a week finish to a sketchbook. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.